Hello and welcome to ChiefTutor.com training videos for Chief Architect. In this video we'll be discussing how to make a 3D symbol for Chief Architect. And I'm going to use a free program from Google called SketchUp, which I'm sure maybe most of you have used before. I've gone ahead and drawn in a railing which I'm going to create for Chief Architect. And you can do this in Chief 10 or X1. I'm going to be using X1. Okay, so here's a railing I've created with my draw tool and you can go to SketchUp.com and find that there's many training videos on how to use SketchUp. So here's just a simple one I've created and what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to post this symbol um, on the website where you're watching this video right now so you can use it at your will. Okay, so once you have the symbol created in SketchUp, the steps are pretty easy. All you need to do is go to File, export, export to a 3D model, and choose uh, AutoCAD DWG. Go into the options, make sure it's a low version that both Chief versions can pick up, like Chief 10 or Chief X1. I'm using Convert to AutoCAD 2004. I'm going to call this new, well, let's call this railing. And I'm going to hit export, and it's going to export and make my 3D AutoCAD version. Click OK. Now I'm going to close this because I don't really need this anymore and I'm going to go ahead and open up Chief Architect. Now if you go to Tools and under Symbol you have Create Symbol Wizard. I'm going to click on that, click Next and I'm going to choose Millwork since I'm making a wood design but I'm actually going to color it metal. Um, I'm making something in the Millworks family so that's really important so let's click that first. Um, here I'm going to go to Browse and I'm going to find the Railing 3D that I've created and it generates it on into the system for you and it makes a little diagram here and shows you what it's done. So that all looks good. If it looks a little funky you can choose double sided. That'll make sure it gets all the faces in the plane. I'm going to call this uh, uh, let's call this Iron Railing sounds about right. Everything else looks good. You can manipulate these changes if you'd like. Uh, next, and click Next, Next. Um, the height, the width, everything seems fine. We'll click Next. I can go ahead and color it because it's got this default wood color I don't like. I'm going to go into Colors and I'm going to choose this charcoal. Click OK, Next. I'm also going to add to library right away because I know I want this symbol in my system. So I'm going to say Finish. And under My Millworks, under this tab, I'll um, click OK. And I'll notice it is in there. So if I go to Millworks and My Millworks, there's that railing. Also, the symbol wizard appears over here. So you can actually put it in your plan. I don't really need it. I can click it once, put it in there, but I'm going to delete it. I can go right to my stairs and start installing and using this cool railing. Okay, so I'm going to put up a small set of stairs there. Then I'm going to hit space bar, double click on the stairs, open up the staircase specifications. Notice how it says make reach to what I have no idea. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to go to baluster, click library, my tools, iron railing, OK. Everything else seems fine. Click OK. And let's take a look and see what we've created. And it should generate out your set of stairs with that railing in. Perfect, huh? That's pretty simple and painless. Now let's complete the process. I'm going to double click on the stairs. Go ahead and go to the style. See where it says runner? I'm going to increase it to 30 inches. I want to put a runner, carpet runner, going down. Um, let's go ahead and choose uh, round for Newell. Let's go to handrail and just, uh, let's pick a round one as well. Make that complete. I'm going to take this down to 1.5 inches. Line style I like. Fill style is fine. Materials, let's go ahead and start picking out materials. Carpet. Let's get a nice carpet runner, shall we? So we'll go to flooring. Carpet. This one seems good. Newels I'm already set in my color, so I don't have to worry about that. Railing, I do want to match all the others. So I'm going to go to gray, graphite. Riser and trim. Let's do like um, a wood solid 
mahogany color. Nice dark color for the main part of the stairs. Support wall is the wall underneath the stairs. Don't have to worry about tread. We're going to get that in as mahogany as well. Underside is white is fine. And click OK. So this should complete our set of stairs using Chief Architect. There we go. What do you think of that? Works pretty good, huh? That's been training videos importing with SketchUp files, making 3D items for Chief Architect version X1. And again, you can download my symbol free right below you on this video page that you're viewing now and utilize it in Chief 10 or X1. It might even import great with 9.5. Okay, talk to you soon, guys. Thanks.